Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're jumping straight into an urgent situation, Hurricane Melissa. Yeah, it's it's a really dangerous one. A catastrophic Category 5 storm. And we need to break down the latest meteorological analysis, the sources, and really understand the impact. Because forecasters are calling this a worst case meteorological scenario. They are, and it's not hyperbole. As of this morning, you're looking at a Cat 5. Sustained winds around 160 miles per hour. Wow. And the central pressure, this is key, it's down to 917 millibars. That's incredibly low. It tells you just how intense this storm is. Extremely low. But honestly, the most dangerous part, it's barely moving. Just three miles per hour. Three. That's incredibly slow. Yeah. And that slow crawl, that's what turns dangerous into potentially catastrophic. It multiplies every single impact. Right. We hear worst case scenario thrown around, but that slow speed sounds like the linchpin. Yeah. And didn't this thing uh, ramp up incredibly fast? It did astonishingly fast from just a tropical storm to a category 5 monster in what about 48 hours roughly yeah that's classic rapid intensification or ri and that speed of development it must just outpace any ability to prepare right creates a huge preparedness deficit absolutely mobilization just can't keep up with that kind of strengthening if you could somehow prevent that ri the whole threat picture changes. So what fueled that? What were the conditions? Well, it was pretty much a perfect setup. Mm -hmm. Melissa's parked over some of the warmest ocean water on the planet right now. That's the fuel, pure high octane energy. Okay, warm water. Then atmospherically, you have almost zero vertical wind shear. Nothing tearing the storm apart vertically. So it stays organized. Perfectly organized. And add to that, strong upper level outflow. Think of it like a really efficient exhaust system for the storm's engine. It lets it vent and just keep strengthening. It's it's basically the most efficient hurricane engine the tropics can build. An optimized heat engine. Okay. okay. So with that power, where is it headed? The official track. The track, unfortunately, has become quite clear and the model confidence is high. We're looking at landfall on Jamaica's south coast, likely early Tuesday morning. Cat 5 landfall. Yes. And then it's forecast to continue towards eastern Cuba for a secondary impact, likely still as a major hurricane Tuesday night. Okay, let's focus on Jamaica first. That slow movement plus the terrain. What does that mean? It means rainfall totals that are just staggering. We're talking widespread 15 to 30 inches. 15 to 30 inches. Yes, and some localized spots could see uh, up to 40 inches, maybe even slightly more. 40 inches, that's almost a meter of rain. Exactly. Imagine that amount of water falling on mountainous terrain. It's a recipe for catastrophic flash flooding and devastating landslides. We're talking potential systemic infrastructure collapse beyond just wind damage. And this ties into the human side, especially when you look at Hispaniola. Melissa seems like a textbook threat multiplier there. It absolutely is. It's hitting areas already incredibly vulnerable. We've already got confirmed fatalities, sadly. And in the Dominican Republic specifically, reports show 56 aqueducts are out. Wow, so water access. Instantly gone for over 647,000 people. Just like that, no clean drinking water. And in Haiti, the situation, it's amplified even further, isn't it? Tragically, yes. You have a storm hitting a place where um, nearly 6 million people are already facing crisis level hunger. Thousands are displaced by ongoing gang violence. So the system is already stressed to breaking point? Precisely. So when the storm hits, knocking out fragile infrastructure like water systems, the recovery isn't just about the storm damage, it's layered onto these pre-existing crises. The lack of clean water, for example, lasts long after the winds die down. It sounds incredibly complex. What about the official response? Are preparations underway? Yes, governments are mobilizing. Jamaica, for instance, has activated uh, somewhere between 650 and nearly 900 emergency shelters. Mm -hmm. Mandatory evacuation orders are in place for high risk zones. And the forecast models back this urgency up? They do. The newer models like HFSSB and the Google DeepMind AI Ensemble prediction, mm -hmm. they strongly support this Cat 5 landfall scenario. The danger is very well defined scientifically. Okay, so looking at the bigger picture, Melissa is the third Category 5 storm just this season, 2025. That's right. It highlights just how severe this hurricane season has been, how conducive the environment is. Which brings up a really difficult point. We have this clear, scientifically backed danger, high confidence forecasts, but the actual response on the ground, especially in places like Haiti, 
is hampered, right? It is. That's the harsh reality. People are reluctant or simply unable to leave even makeshift shelters because of these other crises, the gang violence, the lack of food. Exactly. And that's the crucial takeaway here. The ultimate human toll of Melissa might hinge less on the raw meteorological power, the wind speed, and more on these socioeconomic vulnerabilities. So meteorology gives the warning, but the societal factors dictate the outcome. Precisely. Eight organizations know they're going to face prolonged access limitations after the storm passes. Getting help in will be incredibly difficult, not just because of washed out roads, but because of the security situation, the pre-existing fragility. So international aid needs to factor that in from the start. It's not just storm recovery, it's recovery layered on top of ongoing crises. It has to be. The response needs to navigate these stacked crises. Think about it. The ability to respond to save lives is being dictated less by the forecast accuracy and more by whether people can actually evacuate or if aid can physically reach them afterwards. That's the sobering challenge right now.